What's up guys, it's your favorite pirate Pac, and in this video, we're talking about Sage. In my last video, we dove deep into the new release of Star Atlas's showroom that will be available on Thursday, June 1st. And if you want to know everything going on with that, I left a link in the description below for you. But UE5 is not all we got in the Epic Town Hall on Friday. There are some major releases coming in Sage this year, and they're going to be here quick. So what can you expect, and what do you need to know to prepare for success? Well, I'm glad you asked. But before we get to the answer, this video is sponsored by our friends over at Galliard Merchants, the first officially licensed Star Atlas merchandise store. Use the code POC10 to get 10% off until Wednesday. I just used my code to buy the first ever Titan. Well, first ever approved Titan. This thing looks so cool and I can't wait to get it. Star Atlas is launching two major surge events in Escape Velocity this week and both offer the chance for us to get some amazing in-game assets. Starting today at noon and ending Thursday, we'll be 14 times more likely to find those silver tiered items. And starting tomorrow, we're 150 times more likely to find platinum items. Well, one platinum item. And I grind for 8 to 14 hours a day in escape velocity. I know I'm going to capitalize on my chance to win one of these items. If you've been around Star Atlas for any time at all, you know that Escape Velocity is not really Sage, but we are definitely getting there. We're not far away from the next release, which is resource extraction and crafting with our own ships, and what some might consider the first version of Sage. What are we looking at in this release? Well, for this version of mining and crafting, we'll get to leave our faction claims staked, because we'll be mining raw materials from asteroid belts but we will have to withdraw our fleets from SCORE in order to use them within SAGE. We can use the ships that we own to mine for resources and have actual gameplay loops directly tied to supporting our space exploration adventures. Removing our ships from SCORE will be a major milestone as we move from passive earning to a real game with a living, breathing economy. We can see that there's a lot more we'll be able to do as we move away from SCORE. And for those of us who are gamers, it means that our Atlas earning will be based on the grind we put in to advance our faction positions within the metaverse. I expect that R4s will be the first craftable items, and CEO Michael Wagner even said we can expect to see a huge change in the current R4 economy. I believe that this is when R4s from the Dow will truly begin to be replaced by player-made resources. But R4s are not all we expect to get in this next release. There will also be a loot table, like what's currently in Escape Velocity. But the loot will be different and it will be much harder to find. This is a phasing out we can expect to see with every new release of Sage as we move to a fun to play likeable version. We'll also be slowly introduced to the R20s. But I've got a question for you. In this list, coming from the Sage game manual, we only have 15 resources. And if you add the 4 R4s, that still only makes 19. Do you guys know what that last resource is? If you do or want to make a guess, let me know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe while you're already there. And there's a good possibility that we're going to actually be able to see each other's ships on the map. Not just the heat map that we're used to in Escape Velocity. And this is one step closer to PvP in Sage, with combat expected to be released around Q3, Q4 this year. And we can also expect an upgraded version of the UI to go along with the upgraded features that we're going to be able to do. It'll probably look something more like this. The cool part is, there's going to be a place in there to keep track of at least our ammunition, because we're going to need to burn our own ammunition in order to mine the asteroids. This is an in-game use of R4s. This is the first R4 sync that is actually part of the game. This is interactive and I love this. I can't wait. We gotta have that reason for the grind. Thanks for watching guys. And don't forget to hop over to Gallia Merchants and use code POC10 to get 10% off of some amazing Star Atlas gear. I know I'm going to be in the Galactic Seas all day today, all day tomorrow, up until Thursday. And then Thursday, you definitely know where I'll be at. So until then, stay safe guys. I'll catch you later. POC out.